So it's been a while since I've done a hidden feature video, so I thought why not make a video and show you guys some of the best and the most useful hidden features that you will find on a Samsung smartphone. So first, let's head on into the built-in file manager. It should be inside the Samsung folder. Here it is. So here, you want to tap on these three dots and then head on into the file manager settings. Then tap on about my files and repeatedly tap files until you see a message enable my files lab. So now you want to close the file manager and open it once again and then head on into its settings and at the bottom you'll notice a new menu which says my files lab. Now inside you want to enable permanently delete option. So now when you delete something from the file manager, the phone is going to give you an option in case you want to permanently delete the file. So if you check this box, the file is going to be gone for good instead of going into the recycle bin. Super useful, right? Cuts down on one extra step. So guys, check this out. The edges of the screen are gonna light up as I unlock the phone using my fingerprint. And that looks absolutely awesome. And you can also have this on your very own phone by using something called modes and routines which you can open through your phone settings. Now inside, you wanna tap on routines and then hit the plus button. Now under if, you wanna search for unlock with fingerprint. Select this and tap on done. So next, under then, you wanna search for edge lighting effect. Tap on it and set this to whatever effect you like. I'm just gonna pick the glitter effect as it is the best one out of all. And once you are done, don't forget to save your newly created routine and yeah, that is pretty much it. So now whenever you unlock the phone with your fingerprint, it's gonna play the edge lighting effect on the screen which looks really awesome. Now if you feel that this is a bit too distracting, then you can change this to something else. In my opinion, the spotlight effect looks really cool as well. It's not super distracting, but it looks really nice on the screen. Alright, so for the next feature, I'm gonna press and hold the volume up and down keys and you'll see a secret menu pops up which has a couple of useful options like the option to mute all sounds, screen magnification which is very useful. Then we've also got extra dim and the option to open up the assistant menu which is again a very very useful feature. So let me show you how to enable this menu. So what you want to do is head on into your phone settings and then scroll down to accessibility. Inside accessibility, tap on advanced settings and then tap on volume up and down buttons. And from this list, select the shortcuts of features that you want to see when you press and hold the volume up and down buttons for 3 seconds. There are 22 of them available so you want to check the boxes for the ones that you actually need. Alright, so check this out. I'm gonna highlight some text in the web browser and now I'm gonna tap and hold the highlighted text until it separates out like this. Now what we can do is paste this text in any app on the phone. For example, let's use our thumb and open WhatsApp and once we let go of the finger, it will paste the text in the chat automatically. So there you go. Awesome, right? And once you get a hang of this, it's actually easier than manually copying and pasting text across different apps. Okay, so for the next feature, you want to download Good Lock from the Galaxy Store. But I think most of you guys will already have it on your phone. Alright, so inside Good Lock, you want to download and open the Display Assistant module. Give it all the permissions that it needs. And here, tap on Brightness Limit Profile and set this to Light. This is gonna keep the brightness at higher levels which is super useful when you are taking photos or filming outdoors on a bright sunny day. Thing is, the phone automatically decreases the brightness as its internal temperature goes up which makes viewing the screen outdoors almost impossible. But once you set this to light, it's gonna keep the screen running at high brightness for slightly longer, making the screen visible in daylight on a hot sunny day. Trust me, this is more useful than you think it is. So make sure that you keep this on light. 
Did you know that you can also add a date for an event to your phone's calendar straight from pretty much any physical card? All you have to do is launch the camera and place it in front of the card, then press on the T button, then highlight the date part, and then select Add Event. And this will allow you to add the event straight to your phone's calendar from a physical card. And shout out to Paper Muse for hooking me up with a sample wedding card. If you need a wedding card designer, go ahead and check out Paper Muse. Alright, so for the next feature, I want you guys to head on into the camera settings. Once inside, scroll down and tap on Advanced Video Options. And here, enable audio playback. This setting will allow you to play back audio on your phone and record videos together. And if you are wondering, yes, you're gonna have the audio that you are playing back on your phone in your videos. You also might have noticed that if you change the sort method of the app drawer to alphabetical, it also changes from horizontal swipe to vertical with no way of switching it back. And a lot of you guys were upset about this. So GoodLock has added a new feature that lets you switch back to the horizontal swipe while using the alphabetical sort order in the app drawer. So all you have to do is head on into GoodLock and open up the Home Up module. Inside, you want to head on into home screen, swipe down and enable use horizontal scroll. That will enable horizontal scrolling while using the alphabetical order in the app drawer. Now do keep in mind this is a brand new feature and it is only available if your phone is running the latest One UI 8. So if you've got the Galaxy S25 and the 24 series, you'll have to wait a bit longer. Another feature of One UI 8 that I guarantee that you guys don't know is that now in the camera, you can swipe down or up to open up the quick control panel. See that? And to switch the cameras around, you can tap on this button. Now the setting for this is in the camera settings. So here, scroll down and tap on swipe preview up down to and set this to open quick controls. Or you can set this to switch cameras. That's how it used to be traditionally. When you take a screenshot using AI Select, you've now got the option to set the screenshot as a wallpaper right from over here. See that? You don't even need to manually crop or save the photo. And I use photos that I've taken myself as my wallpapers. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check them out on my Flickr account. I'll put the link in the video's description. Now, if you don't want to go through the effort of customizing the lock screen of your phone, then you can have the phone create a lock screen layout for you. And some of these do actually look quite nice. Alright, so to customize, you want to long press on the lock screen and then unlock your phone. Once you are on this screen, tap on suggest and the phone will automatically create a lock screen layout for you. And you want to have the phone suggest a couple of times until you see something that you are comfortable with. And the best part is, you can go ahead and customize this even further to suit your style. So we can reposition the wallpaper, clock and even change the color of the frame. I don't really see many people talk about or use these features. So I thought why not include these in the hidden feature list. Now, if you want to take the lock screen customization to the next level and have things like shortcuts, stickers, and widgets on your lock screen, then you should absolutely download the lock star module in GoodLock. And once you download and enable this, you'll see the lock star button when you customize the lock screen. And using this, you can add different things like stickers, which you can see I have already done. And I think these are the ones that I downloaded from the Galaxy Store. And all of these are repositionable. So if you long press and hold them, you should be able to reposition these anywhere you like. And this is the favorite apps tab. It's got a bunch of shortcuts. And again, this is repositionable. So you can place it anywhere you like. And last but not the least, you can also add app widgets to the lock screen. So yeah, tons of customization available for the lock screen through the Lockstar module. So there was a time when Samsung used to include a built-in dictionary on their older smartphones, which used to be super useful. But unfortunately, they've stopped including it on their newer models. 
but thankfully the app is still available on the Galaxy Store. So all you have to do is search dictionary for Samsung in the Galaxy Store and this is the one that we need to download. And once you do and set it up, you'll have the same awesome dictionary that you used to on older Samsung Galaxies. Alright, so let's end the video here. This time we're gonna keep the video under 10 minutes. So if you've enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, share the video and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.